Hi and welcome to this video where I want to show you what makes an Insta camera the perfect smart home camera for your existing or future smart home. In this case I have opened already the web interface of an Insta IP camera from the 2K Plus series and inside the web UI you can go on top left to settings and here we have a whole section for smart home. What I want to show you is just different kind of um, protocols that we support with the cameras and then from there on you can check it and integrate the camera into your existing smart home. So we have the smart home section here. First of all we have an alarm server that means the camera can send an HTTP or HTTPS request to any server or web server in this case it can be your smart home uh, the camera can send that it has triggered an alarm it can also send the like what has triggered the alarm like the information if it was just a software motion detection if it was the pir if it was an object like a person that was detected so with all this information you can then use it inside your smart home to trigger different different things if you have multiple smart home servers you have up to three servers that you can send the information to you can also customize what kind of information should be sent and how frequently it should be sent once a motion is detected at any time you have inside the web ui in each menu you have this question mark this will lead you to an online help where all the um, the settings are this, uh, explained but other than that we have also wiki pages which I show you later where you find tons of information regarding each feature of the camera so this is the alarm server you can integrate that into almost every smart home that can receive HTTPS requests um, next we have Amazon Alexa uh, this you can integrate the camera into your existing Alexa and show the video stream on Alexa show or you can also use it to access your cloud account which is totally optional on for our cameras but if you are using a cloud you can then use Alexa to display alarm videos from um, from your cloud account the same for Google Home. If you have a Google Home or a Google Assistant with a display, then you can use that to integrate it. Next, we have Apple HomeKit. Um, once you activate it, you can add the camera to your existing uh, Home app from Apple. And our cameras in the 2K Plus series support HomeKit as well as uh, HomeKit Secure Video. That means you can the camera will upload the videos to your iCloud and Apple will automatically um, yeah, cut the videos, let's say, according to whether there is an object in like what you have set in the home app, what kind of objects you want to detect. And then you have a timeline in which you can see all the recordings. For Apple HomeKit integration, we will make another video on that. So just feel free to subscribe to our channel um, then you will get the notification once the video is available or maybe once you are watching this video the, vid the HomeKit video might already be available. So this is for HomeKit integration so you can easily integrate the camera into your Apple uh, um, into your Apple infrastructure. We have IFTTT um, which you can use to integrate a camera into your smart home. Most smart home devices also support IFTTT. Um, this allows you to send um, yeah, commands over the internet to your smart home. It needs an, a free cloud account from us because this as an interface, like, or, yeah, it, it needs the cloud to communicate through your to your device. So if you simply want to locally communicate with the camera, we recommend using the next, which is MQTT. Um, the camera supports MQTT version 5. It has a broker integrated and also can be used as a client, or it is the client, but also has an integrated broker. The commands can also be sent over WebSocket. 
and MQTT allows you to integrate a camera and uh, let you control it. Uh, usually you can integrate a video stream by using RTSP into your, let's say, interface of the smart home and um, all the commands to activate alarm, deactivate alarm or activate anything else. Uh, for this you can use MQTT and the advantage is that you will always have the up-to-date state uh, of what was set. So let's say in the web UI or in the app I deactivate the alarm, then in my smart home this will reflect right away and I will show that it's, uh, I will be seeing that it's deactivated there. So you can use MQTT. Another option that you have to integrate the camera, which is now not here in the smart home section, but it's the CGI commands. That means everything you are setting here in the web UI has a command um, that we are sending to the camera. And this you can also use to, to do any kind of changes or settings. Besides, besides um, the MQTT and CGI, this I will show you in inside our wiki pages in just a moment but um, i just shortly want to show you that under network we have also onfif which is a open standard for integrating cameras into third-party devices such as nvrs or other kind of security software so this allows you to integrate a camera into almost everywhere any kind of software or device that supports onfif the camera supports on 50 profile at the moment and also S profile, but right now we're only supporting the digest authentication since it's more secure. Then there is another one, it's called WS security uh, authentication. This one currently we're not supporting, but it will come with one of the next firmware updates probably within March 2024. So once that is integrated, then the S profile will also be fully supported. Um, but for the T profile, it's anyway, the, uh, um, the digest authentication is anyway the must have authentication. So for that one, it will work right away. So you can use OnFIF to integrate a camera into, for example, uh, Synology or QNAP NAS or in, inside your smart home application if that supports ONFIF. Um, for the video stream, you can get the video stream by RTSP. You can also, the camera offers an MJPEG video stream and also you can grab the image, um, just the up-to-date image from the camera in order to integrate that in almost any application. And with this, we are jumping to our wiki you find our wiki at uh, wiki.insta.com. If you type that into your web browser, you will automatically be forwarded to the English wiki pages. And here you find tons of information about the camera, about settings, about different software that you can uh, integrate the camera to. And um, I go up here to on the right side to the developer section. And here you find the CGI commands that I mentioned earlier. Once we click it, we can select our camera series. In this case, we are having the 2K plus series. And then here you find the menus according to the web interface. I'm switching shortly. So here we have the different menus, network, multimedia, feature, alarm. And this one here reflects those same menus and then you can click into it and um, select the menu that you want to know the CGI command from. Other than that, I shortly go down here and here you find the CGI commands, for example, for the snapshot. So we have three resolutions in the camera. We have the 2K plus resolution, which would be 11. We have the full HD resolution, which would be 12. And we have the HD resolution, which is number 13. And according to whatever image you want to get, you can um, then use this um, HTTPS request to get the image from the camera. Same we have for the video stream. So here we have the HTTP video stream and here we have the MJPEG video stream. You can copy that commands and then use it to play the video and down here you also find the RTSP video stream 
um, in case you want to integrate the video as RTSP. So this is this. I shortly click into one of these um, settings. So just so you, have, so you have seen it. So we have the alarm menu. And now here it's, I shortly switch. It's the same as here. We have five topics. We have actions, areas, object detection. And this one here reflects the same thing. And we can go, for example, to actions. And then here we have all the different um, CGI commands once we are clicking on it. We go to example and then here we have the CGI command and we see what kind of values it returns and these values then we can use with our smart home and um, and then create an action. Same goes for uh, MQTT commands. You find them here. You, there's also a search and also there's some um, different kind of um, parameters I shortly go here you can use here the insta search to search for any kind of command or you can use this to select between what kind of command you are looking for and then I just use here one example if we want to read out the PIR sensor then we have here the CGI command we have here the MQTT topic in case we want to use this and here we see the values that it returns to either zero deactivate the PIR sensor or one activate the PIR sensor. So this is how you can customize your camera and um, you can use the search function in our wiki at any time. If you wanna, for example, integrate the camera to a smart home, then we can just type in smart home. We have here IO broker, open hub, uh, homematic, lock zone, smart home, and many more. Um, there's also a section here on top if you go to products then to software and then you find here one section for smart home once you click it and then here you find different kind of smart home systems in case you're missing any kind of smart home system please let us know we are interested to see what kind of smart home system you are using and um, depending on the system you're using we will then create a tutorial on how to integrate a camera into that system. So please let us know and I hope you liked the video. Um, in case you have any questions, please write it in the comments. And other than that, I wish you a lot of fun with your Insta camera and uh, hope to see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.